Okay guys, welcome to a Go Academy video. If you guys like it, click the like button and subscribe. So today we're going to be looking at this opening position here, where in this case the black goes into this 3-3 area, and then later the white attacks here. Well, in this case, you might see some pro players do something like this. And you might be thinking, wait, that's a blunder. That's not a good move. Isn't this a better move? Well, today I'm going to tell you why this isn't better and why pro players go here. First of all, when the white comes here, if you don't respond, white can do something like this, where black is forced into this flat position with little to little territory while white has this big wall with a lot of potential right over here. So black has to respond. And a diagonal move, something like this, will lead to this where white has a wall here. And if there happens to be a white rock over in this side, this could be very strong. So how about something like this? Well, a knight's move is weak in this case because it has some weaknesses and many ways to be disconnected, especially when there's rocks nearby. So you might think the obvious best move is a one space jump. But in this case, there is three ways that the white can disconnect it. And I'm going to go over each one right here. So first, white has to set it up. He sets it up by attacking the corner. If black does this, trying to get room to survive, white doesn't connect here because it's opening. This is only like a few territories. There's way bigger places to go. So the white will not connect here. And in this spot here is where white has three choices. The first one we're gonna look at is going down here. If black goes here, trying to connect, white disconnects. If black goes here to capture these two white rocks, disconnect it. If he goes for the Atari, we Atari him. If he connects, we cross over. Fully disconnected the black. The black survives down here in the corner. The white has a big wall and potential, but there is a black rock here in the way. Another thing black could do is going straight out, trying to connect here. Well, the white's going to disconnect here. Again, black goes capture. We Atari. He connects, and then we cross over. It's, it's a little bit worse of a situation for white as later on he does have a weakness here and again black survives but it is fully disconnected this one not the best but it does do the job of disconnecting so what's another move that white could do the second one we're gonna look at is here if the black disconnects here same thing as last time this happens where black is fully disconnected but black does survive down here. Another thing black could do here is go down here. And in this case, white cannot block this because it'll die. Has to connect up here and the black crosses over. In this case, the black does not get disconnected because white can't go here. But once white connects here, this black is not alive yet. Has to do something, has to get out and has to survive. And if this does somehow get contained or disconnected later in the game, all of this could die. So the last one, the, and the best one for white, is just straight up disconnecting right here, just squeezing in right here. If black goes here, Atari's it, instead of connecting, we're going to simply go down here. If the white takes it, we'll go here. If the black goes here, trying to capture the white, we're simply going to Atari this. If the black tries to capture us, we'll make a ko. And in this case, us making a ko is good. Because if later on, if somehow we win, we can connect. And look at this. All of these are dead. This is dead. This is dead if we can connect this. Black has to 
somehow go here, which will lead to this surviving. But will be our turn. These are all weak, and we have a strong wall. So, Ko seems like it's really bad for black. So black will probably connect here, which we connect here. And if black doesn't take this, he'll die. So he's forced to take this, which then we can do this knight's move and start to surround this group of black rocks. This leads to black, again, surviving in the corner. Very small, though. And all of this being threatened. And we also start to build a wall here, the white. And again, if there was a white rock somewhere in this area, this could be very powerful, make a lot of territory. If black does something like this, well, then again, we can just disconnect him. If he takes, we go here, if he disconnects, we can cross over or do this, ends up in the same way. So no matter which way the black goes, he's disconnected. So because this one block jump, one space jump can get disconnected in multiple ways, it is not the best move. It leads to not the best situation for black. That's why you see a lot of pros, a lot of high level players do this one space, just one straight up. Can't be disconnected. White, you're disconnecting the white and white can't really build a wall here. So it's a response and it also doesn't get disconnected. So if you see someone go here, now you know how to disconnect it. Normally, you might just think that this can't be disconnected and you might go somewhere else. But now that you know, now that you watch this video, you can do this and simply disconnect it, putting black into a bad position. Okay, so remember, if you see this, there's three ways to disconnect it. And all three ways have their own pros and cons. But this is ultimately the best move. So thank you for watching the video all the way through. Again, if you guys like it, click the like button, subscribe. And uh, hope you guys see my other videos.